What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over my PPC checklist and I'm kinda of gonna be going over it backwards. So we're gonna be going it from the goal all the way back to when we're planning our campaign. So I'm gonna be going through this checklist step by step today and I'm gonna give you a few different examples of some large companies like HubSpot, like Adobe, and one more example as well. So as we go through this video, I'm gonna go through each part of the checklist and some of the things you need to keep in mind as you plan your PPC advertising campaigns. So as we go through this, I mean, it's gonna vary depending on which PPC advertising platform you're using or which social media advertising platform you're using, but ultimately this is a checklist that you can follow when you're creating new campaigns just to make sure you're going through the entire process of what type of campaign are we running? What are we trying to accomplish? Who are we reaching? So let's get into our checklist and let's start with the goal. So the first thing you need to know is what action do you want customers to complete and how are you tracking your goal? You should be using conversion tracking and importing them because every single one of these channels will allow you to use conversion tracking and actually optimize your campaigns for your key performance indicators. So when we come over here to HubSpot, we're gonna look at their example. So what I did with HubSpot is I searched email marketing platforms. I see this HubSpot ad at the very top. HubSpot email marketing, send beautiful emails quickly. So they're clearly bidding on this keyword or a similar keyword. So I click on it, it opens up this landing page. So when we come into this landing page, what you can see is their main goal, there's only two links for me to click here. Now they have a couple privacy policy and legal stuff links at the bottom, but outside of those they have get started, it's free, and up at the top, get started, it's free. So what they're trying to do is bring people into their free program at HubSpot because what they want is for smaller business owners who really don't have a need for HubSpot, can't really afford HubSpot, it's not really the best platform for them. So getting them into the free email and CRM can be a great way to eventually sell them on the paid platform. So I click get started, it's free. It opens me up here to create your free account. So I filled out first name, last name, email address, which brought me here. Nice to meet you, Corey, what industry are you in? So now I would go through the entire process of this, but what they've probably done is their goal is to get me to fill out this form right here, first name, last name, email address, or continue with Google to create my free account. That's all HubSpot wants. So when I entered all of my information here and I click on next, it likely counts as a conversion every time someone hits this page right here. That would be my guess is this is a conversion and then the more information they get and as I move further down their funnel, they may also have other key performance indicators to say, okay, this person gave us their information, but they didn't tell us what industry they're in. They didn't fill out the rest of what we were going through. So they probably put me in a bucket just because I visited this page right here or they're able to track every time someone clicks next here and goes on to the next part of this process. So now to give you a couple more quick examples, if I come over here to Google, I search for stock videos. The top result was from Adobe, so I clicked on it, came here, very simple landing page, try Adobe stock free for 30 days, start free trial. So their goal is to get me to start a free trial. Now I also went and searched website hosting and I got this top10.com, the 10 best, host, uh, 10 best hosting sites 2022. So if I click, you could see I come in here, best web hosting services of 2022. So basically their goal is to get me to come in here and click on one of these affiliate offers. If you see at the very top of the page, the listings featured on the site are from companies which this site receives compensation. This influences where, how, and what order such listings appear on the site. Essentially this site, it just wants people to visit Bluehost, one and one HostGator, GoDaddy, whichever it is, visit the site, sign up, and they're gonna keep collecting checks from their affiliate program. So that's kind of the goal for some of these different advertisers. So you ultimately, you need a goal and you also need an offer to get people to actually complete your goal. So when we come back over here and we're looking at HubSpot, their offer is get started, it's free. Their offer here is create your free, ac free account, 100% free, no credit card needed. So basically what they're saying is get started with our marketing hub completely free and it's gonna help you attract and engage more leads with all of our free tools that you can incorporate right away. If we come over here to Adobe, what they're offering as well is a free trial. So they're basically saying once your free trial ends, so we have we can try this free for 30 days. So we have one simple plan, video images, music, and motion graphics, so we can try it free. If after 30 days we're not interested, then we don't sign up. If we're interested, then they have us on the annual plan and they've gotten our money and we count as a paid conversion now. So ultimately with this PPC advertising, they're trying to just get people in their funnel by getting people to start free trials. 
So the more free trials that people can start, the more likely they are to probably upgrade to this annual plan. So that's the offer from Adobe Stock. Now here is kind of a unique example with our web hosting, top10.com. There's no real offer here. Like the only offer they kind of have is the review itself. So we could look up some of these different reviews. They may include some offers here, Black Friday sale up to 75% off until December 3rd. So they may have some offers there are most popular, but there's no real offer. It's basically, I'm coming in here and saying, okay, I trust top10.com that they're giving me the best possible information. So I'm gonna go with one of these top three. Maybe I'll look at pricing. Maybe I'll see some of the different features they have. So there's really no offer with this one. With the other two, it's more of a free trial offer. Sometimes you're gonna see discounts. They show a discount here, save up to 75%. So that would kind of be the offer that Bluehost is giving to customers and top 10 is promoting it. But ultimately there's not a major offer here for, hey, if you sign up today, then we'll lock you in at this price rather than this price. So I know Hulu was offering $1.99 during Black Friday for 12 months. So that's the offer. The goal is to get people to sign up. The offer is here's $1.99 for the next 12 months. Hopefully we can sign up a million new customers and a lot of them forget to cancel or do anything the following year and they start paying full price. Or rather than forgetting, hopefully they like our product. So that's the offer. You need to make sure there is some offer to your customers to complete your goal. Now next is gonna be your landing page or your landing pages. What do potential customers see after they click your ad and is your offer clear? Is your goal easy to complete? So I actually really like the Adobe landing page because it's so simple. You come in here, there's no images. They have, you can go through and see some of the different parts of their Adobe stock. They have pricing, you can sign in. But ultimately what they have is this blue button right here. Everything is black, white, and gray except for this blue button, start free trial. Now they could probably make this button a little bigger, but this is probably a really good landing page on mobile. It's a really good landing page on desktop. Very clear offer. I know exactly what I'm getting if I wanna start my free trial. I know exactly what it's gonna cost once the trial ends. Now top10.com has a really good landing page as well. Very clear each of the individual offers and then these yellow call to action buttons, visit site, visit site, and then you have blue above it. So really nice coloring here with uh, top10.com and very clear what the offer is. And then HubSpot just has their landing page. There's two different buttons. So there's different approaches you can take with a landing page, but ultimately what you're trying to do, make sure your customers understand exactly what you're offering. Make sure that your landing page is relevant to your actual advertisements and to your actual targeting so that people who are visiting your landing page are gonna have some level of interest in your offer. And now since I'm using HubSpot as my example, they actually have a really great resource on their website, 21 of the best landing page design examples you need to see in 2022. So I'll put this link in the video description so you can get some ideas as you're building landing pages. The major key with landing pages is look at what your competitors are doing and then look at what big companies are doing. So sometimes I'll just go to something like car insurance and look at what Geico and some of these other large companies are doing. What, how are they presenting their offer and how are they getting people to convert? So that's one way to come up with different ideas for landing pages because you know these large companies are testing and A-B testing all their different landing pages to see what's converting the best because they have million dollar budgets. So you need to make sure that you're putting out the landing page that's gonna convert the best. So this is a huge part of your PPC advertising campaign. So you can't just completely forget about your landing page and you should also test your landing pages as well. So if Adobe has this landing page right here, they should incorporate a second version and see if it performs a little bit better. And then whichever one performs better is the one you continue using. And then you run another A-B test and see if one performs better than the other. So you keep trying to find that lift within your campaigns and one thing you can test and make sure you're optimizing are your landing pages. So that's gonna bring us up to number four. Now, before people see your landing pages, they click on your ads. So you wanna make sure your ads are relevant to your targeting and you wanna make sure they're enticing enough to drive people to your offer. So I pulled just a few different examples because when we're talking about ads, it could potentially be a Facebook ad, it could be a LinkedIn ad, it could be just Google display ads. There's all sorts of different ad formats depending on the PPC advertising you're working with, but you can see some of these different advertisements. Now truthfully, I don't think any of these three are absolutely great examples of advertisements or anything. I think the PF Chang's one is pretty good, but Taboola, it's basically drive traffic with Taboola native ads. Should be drive results, drive conversions, drive sales, drive some type of revenue. So there's different ways to, to work with your advertisements and make sure you're actually putting together 
a good enough offer that people are going to be interested in clicking your ad and signing up for whatever it is that you have on your landing page. Now, one thing we can see here is if we come back over to Google, I'm looking at email marketing platforms. You could see HubSpot email marketing. One of the things that we can do is we can click on the three dots next to the advertisement and we can do see more ads this advertiser has shown using Google. So when we click on that, what we can see is all of the HubSpot advertisements you can see anytime shown in the United States, all formats. I can say, all right, let's see what type of image ads HubSpot's running. Okay, so they have some pretty bright colors on their image ads, search engine optimization, sales solutions, connected sales and marketing, free but powerful. So you can see some of their different image ads. You can click on them to make them bigger. Let's come over here and we'll look at their text ads. So a lot of different advertisements from HubSpot, as you can see here. And what you're gonna see is you can get some level of idea of the type of keywords they're targeting just by looking at their headlines. Free email signature generator. You know they're targeting keywords related to email signature generation. HubSpot blog creator, free calendar for sales, email tracking, CRM software. I'm sure this is probably the ad people see the most, some type of CRM ad, free SEO training, free HubSpot email tracker, HubSpot email integration, so basically, most of their advertisements are trying to get people into get started with their free CRM software, and hopefully people have a need to upgrade to their premium software, which is essentially an all-in-one website creation, CRM, email, every single possible thing you can think of. So HubSpot tries to get people in the door with their free program. That's what you can see a lot with their advertisements. And then once you're in, they're going to keep promoting their upgraded model for you. So coming back over here, that is number four ads. So basically the way we're gonna look at it is people see your ads, click them, they're gonna see your landing page, your landing page is gonna have some type of offer, and there's gonna be some goal that you want people to take, take advantage of, you want some action that people are going to actually take on your website. They're gonna book an appointment, or they're gonna call your business, or they're gonna fill out some type of free trial form, or they're gonna purchase directly from your website and get to some type of order confirmation page. So that brings us to number four, which is ads, and now we're gonna talk about targeting. So are you reaching the right people with your ads, and will people who click your ads be interested in your offer? So I actually pulled up some of the keywords from SpyFu, uh, or from, HubSpot using SpyFu. So if we open this up and I open up SpyFu, we can see they have over 7,300 paid keywords and their estimated monthly Google ads budget is 296,000 with 23,000 estimated monthly PPC clicks. Now that is a massive, massive monthly budget. This may not be an exact figure, but it's probably somewhat close. So that means HubSpot is spending millions of dollars on advertising every single year. And you can see that most of their traffic is organic. So they have 99% organic traffic. So that just shows how expensive their keywords are. And if we scroll down here, we can see with some of their targeting that they are targeting their five main paid keywords is you have HubSpot, obviously a branded keyword. CRM, it's saying their cost per click is almost $21 and their monthly cost on just CRM is $103,000. CRM software, monthly cost $189,000 cost per click of almost $29. So you could see this is a competitor, email signature, another one cost per click $2.40, monthly cost 3.69 thousand. So you can see their cost per click is incredibly high for some of these different keywords. We can view all these paid keywords, but ultimately HubSpot is selling a CRM. So you're targeting, you need to make sure that you're reaching people who are actively looking for what you are trying to sell to people. So in this case, it's CRM software. When people search CRM software in Google, HubSpot probably wants to be in that top spot so that people can go to them and they can get them started with that free plan. Now you can see here with the other two, um, so if we're looking at Adobe, I just search stock videos. So stock videos, Adobe stock multi-asset plan. And then with this other one, I search website hosting, top 10 best web hosting sites 2022. So all really good advertisements, all really relevant to the keywords that I am targeting email marketing platforms, my Hub, HubSpot ad came up. Now coming back over here and looking at the ads one more time. So ultimately something like Taboola, it's it's a native advertising platform. And if they're saying drive traffic with Taboola native ads, then who they're trying to reach are website owners. So basically website owners who want more traffic, that would be their target market. Now Creative Cloud for Teams, Adobe Creative Cloud, apps for photography, design, video, and web, good design, good for business. So ultimately they're trying to reach designers, 
people who do video marketing, people who do video editing, graphic editing, web design. That is who Creative Cloud is trying to reach. Any type of creative, they want you to use their software to actually produce it for your business. So PF Chang's, this is gonna be a little bit different because it's an enter to win sweepstakes, a trip for two to Napa Valley, but ultimately what you want is if they're trying to get people to enter to win a sweepstakes, you really want people who are gonna have some interest in going to PF Chang's and spending their money with PF Chang's. So that would probably be the better targeting than trying to target, for example, people who are interested in going to Napa Valley. People who are interested in going to Napa Valley may have no interest in eating at PF Chang's, but people who are interested in eating at PF Chang's may be interested in going to Napa Valley for free when they win a sweepstakes. So some different ways to look at how you should target your advertisements, but it does help to create your ads and have some level of interest of, okay, here's what our offer is, here's what our ads look like, here's who we're gonna target to make sure that we're reaching the right people at the right time. So that's number five is gonna be targeting. Now, last but not least, probably the easiest uh, to come up with and something that could easily change is budget and time. I always think it's important to start with a minimum spend because if you say, okay, we wanna spend $100 a day for the next 30 days and you pause your campaign after five days, then you never really gave it a chance to work. So when is the offer valid? So that could be a huge part of time. If you're running, for example, a limited time promotion or something that is gonna be ending in the next week or month, then you can only really run your ads when that offer is valid. And then how much do you wanna set for your initial budget? What I would recommend personally is to say, we'd like to spend at least this much on this campaign over this time frame. So you may say, we'd like to spend $5,000 over the next 30 days. And if we realize after 10 days that it's performing well, then we wanna increase our spend. If we realize after 10 days we're really struggling, then maybe we'll decrease spend and we'll look at improving our targeting, our ads, our landing pages, our offer, and make sure our goal is set up as well as it possibly can be because if our budget and our time is not leading to a successful campaign, that's when we go through the rest of the checklist and make sure that we have all of this in place as well as we possibly can so we can sell our products. Goal, what should they do? What should customers do? Offer, what should they buy? Landing pages, what do they see? Ads, what is the offer? Targeting, who should see it? Budget and time. How much are we spending on this campaign and when is it running? So hopefully this all makes sense when you're creating your PPC advertising campaigns, regardless of the channel that you're working with, you should make sure that you go through this PPC checklist so that you have a really good offer that makes people actually take action on your website and hopefully it leads to a PPC advertising campaign with a positive return on ad spend. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section. Sometimes it can be really useful to go backwards through this. So we're looking at targeting here, we're looking at ads, we're looking at landing pages, we're looking at what the offer is, what the goal is, where we want people to get to, and then we'll work our way backwards to say, okay, let's make sure we're targeting the right people at the right time with the right messaging so that we can actually drive results with our campaign. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.